What's going on guys? This is one of my most favorite videos that we've done. This dog literally comes in, pulling on the leash, barking, jumping, young dog, dealing with all these behavioral and obedience issues you guys are probably dealing with at home. And we're gonna go in and we're gonna work on this issue with the dog and the owner and explain step-by-step step how to overcome and how to not only teach Oh God, how to teach a dog how to not do these things, but as well as how to build a better relationship with a dog so they don't wanna do these things. I hope everyone has a merry, merry Christmas and a happy holidays. This video is coming out right around that time. We're gonna go in, we're gonna to get to work. Hello to my reindeer, reindeer ears. I appreciate all of you, let's go. Give me the things that you really yeah. Need done, obviously. This, you have jump in and shut the floor. You can't leave the wall. If she gets aggravated, she bites you. Hear how she's. So that's like really restricting her, her airflow, if you will. We're gonna pop this on. Take the harness off. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. So now we got the two harnesses off. Now this is just a little slip. So what this does is it goes right behind the ears. Off. We're just gonna start right off. I just used one of the four quadrants of teaching an animal positive punishment. So she jumped up on me, I gave her punishment, pop, pop, pop. The difference between using something like this, and if you see her now, she's, well, what do I do then? All these things that you guys said, the things that you want to do are common goals for most people, but it's not as easy as like, don't jump, don't pull. We have to teach her what off is, we have to teach her what heel is. Dogs need structure. They need somebody to take their hand and go, this is what we're doing. Because she's an animal. So she's like, woof, woof, like a sled dog. Boom. You're sitting there holding on to yeah. your life. Mm -hmm. So we put the slip on. It goes right behind the ears. Now I'm going to start with some leash pressure. So pressure, release. So see the pressure I just pulled right here? So she sees a person, she goes, hey, but there's a, and I say, yeah, it's okay, there's people that live on this planet other than people you see every day. So just that little leash pressure just says, whoa, settle down. So right now I don't care which side she's on. I'm just teaching her how to shut off the leash. So she goes here, pressure comes on, she comes back to me. So I'm not marking anything, I'm not saying anything verbal. Pressure's on, she goes, oh, gotta do something different. She comes back to me. Wagging her tail, she's happy as a pig and you know what, doesn't care. Pressure's on. Good job, baby. Important note here. So you see the resistance and the hesitation she has now for jumping. She, she kind of comes up, she's like, I don't wanna do that. The positive punishment of adding that punishment in when she jumps is, is powerful, very powerful for a dog. And there's a lot of different ways and a lot of different concepts of how to do that. Some people will put pennies in the can and they go Brrr, like this, dogs hate it. But the reality is, is when, I'm, when I go out with the dog, I don't wanna have to carry pennies and a bottle and an air, air horn and a citronella cup. I just wanna say, hey, no, off, bang. I'm gonna rewalk off. So I'm also using negative punishment too. I'm removing myself when she jumps. Because all she wants is attention. That's why dogs jump in the first place. They go, hey, pay attention to me. And we look at them, we go, you're not supposed to be doing this. They go, hell yeah, I just got rewarded. So I'm removing myself when she jumps as well. Good. Remove yourself, negative. So I'm just proofing that out, that's all. I'll just start adding the heel in. This left side, the dog at our heels. This consistency and structure is very important for any dog. You don't want them to go here and then here and then in front of you and then I handle on the left and then you handle on the right and then you handle on different. Heavy heel. Go ahead and go. Yep. A little bit of pressure. Good. Yep. No pressure. Good. Good. Heel. Pop. Good heel. Now watch. This is an opportunity for her to learn. Heavy heel. Yes, baby. Good heel. Heavy heel. Yes. Good. Good. Well done. Great heel. Absolutely superb. So over here, when I asked her to heal and she's like, but yeah, but there's somebody over here. Correction, right? I went back this way, heal. Yes, good heal. Went back this way. Yeah, so she learned, right? 
operant conditioning. Throughout this session and throughout all the training that we do here, 99, maybe 98% of it is gonna be positive reinforcement. Good job, good job, food, reward-based systems. But we don't live in a world where punishment shouldn't exist. Nobody does. It doesn't matter if you're an orca, a chimpanzee, or a human being, punishment has to exist in order for to not have complete chaos, right? Now I want you to pay attention how I'm saying it, okay? Heavy. Heel. Good heel. Neutral. Heavy. Sit. Good sit. Okay, break. Make sure we say the command and then good whatever that command is, right? So we're gonna teach behaviors. Heel, sit, place, down, stay, leave it, break, all those things. And we have to make sure that we're positively reinforcing that in a way that the dog will capture and understand. And it's how you say it more important. So you could even say bad heel. The way you say it, they're like, woo, yay, right? But we just wanna get a habit of good heel, not good heel, because that's gonna have that voice inflection of that's where we go break, and we just tell the dogs that they can do what they want. Okay, I'm gonna hand the leash off to you guys, and don't look at her, just walk straight forward and just on your way. Don't give her information she doesn't know. Now, hey, let's go, hey, let's go this, let's do this, hey. And you're just gonna use that leash to guide her. If she pulls, you just pull back. Tell her to heal. Heal. What I want you to do is take all your leash and put it in this hand, left hand. The leash is a communication, right? So if your communication has two different sex, I have to go through you to yeah. get to him, he's gonna get the message distorted at some point through you. Nice and relaxed. Good. It's gonna be hard, it's a habit. There you go. And anytime she goes forward, back, or sideways, you just give her a little pressure. Remember to look forward. There you go. Good. Nice and relaxed. Good. Perfect. And then, good heel. The difference is 12:36, and the difference between when you came in to yeah. now yeah. is remarkable. Yeah. Just, I think the big thing for me, which is my passion, is just teaching you how to unlock the potential of. Because a lot of people think, oh, here it is. Here's my dog. Somebody, please turn it off. And what you need to do is just figure out how to do it. Yeah. And that was beautiful. Once he starts yelping and barking, do we... Same thing. You know, it's just kind of like with kids, guys, is my job is to make relationships with dog owners better. If a dog's doing something that we don't like, or a kid's doing, they're, they've got permanent markers, and they're painting the walls, and you're just like, I'm just going to avoid that until it stops, because what the hell? No. We're going to say, hey, what are you doing? And we're going to say 50 or more percent of the dogs in shelters are lack of training. They just don't know how to punish a dog. And there's so many different ways. As you saw before, I can remove myself. That's punishment. I can verbally say, off. That's punishment. I could use the leash to just say, whoa, bam. So anything that they do, they're barking, they're jumping, punish it and with something. Verbally, if you don't have your leash, leave it. No, right? Or if you have the leash, which is better because it's more efficient. I mean, you saw here, jump, 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 pop, nope. Pulling, nope, nope, done, right? I'm not... I don't like beating around the bush of saying like, oh, let's like, no, that's crazy. So if she does anything that you don't like, you add some sort of punishment. Like right now, if she's whining, you just, you just give her a little, like if she starts to whine, you just give her a little pressure and you go, hey, knock it off or leave it. You say no or leave it. Yeah, be consistent though. So don't, a lot of people will be like, hey, hey, let's, let, it's just, blah, blah, blah. Blah. Same Yes. And click the link below in the description if you guys want to cop yourself some No Bad Dog merch before it sells out. Good stay. All right, you guys, I appreciate everybody out there. I also appreciate all the Christmas cards, and I, I don't appreciate all the cookies that we've got because we have so many sweets and so many cookies. cookies. But anyway, hope everyone has a safe, happy holidays. I appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing to my channel. I put videos out like this every single week, sometimes with reindeer ears and sometimes without, depending on what month it is. But anyway, I appreciate you guys very much. I will talk to you next time. Peace. Kyle, you should say that. Come on, say it. Come on. Right here? Yeah, say, tell him. Spongebob, baby girl. <laughs>